Thank you, Sri. Um, before we start my demo, I'd like to um, define a few of the terms that are used uh, about this demo. The first one is OGC, and that stands for Open Geospatial Consortium, which is a group that has created an open standard for the creation of web services that can be used in any GIS software. WMS is one of the OGC standards, and that stands for Web Map Service. And that allows for the visualization of data sets without download. The EGIS portal has web map services available that correspond to the Arches image services, and more will be introduced in the future. I will be completing this de demonstration in QGIS or Quantum GIS, which is a popular open source GIS software that can be used to view OGC services and other data products as well. It can also carry out analysis and create refined maps with multiple data layers. It is widely used, and as previously mentioned, it is the second most popular analytical software for NASA Earth Science data. Now we can begin the demo, and in this demo, we will be creating a simple map of Hurricane Harvey, which hit Texas in late August 2017. We, we will be using the iMERGE Early Precipitation Rate, WMS, in QGIS um, to show the precipitation rate. The service is hosted on the EGIS web portal at gis.earthdata.nasa.gov and it is labeled as WMS, so it is OGC compliant. Now, if we scroll to the bottom of the page, we can copy the URL and then go to QGIS. Use layer, add WMS, WMTS layer, and then click new and input the WMS link copied from portal. This can also be named and will create a service connection that is saved in the browser pane on the left and will be, you, you will be able to access it in the future without having to add the URL again. So the layer is now in the browser pane and clicking on the layer, you can see it is time enabled as shown by the small clock symbol next to it and clicking on it adds this layer to the map. We will now add some spatial context by using a base map from the Quick Map Services plugin, which can be added in the plugins menu. So click Map and search Quick Map Services. This accesses a variety of layers directly in QGIS, and today I will select the Esri World Topo base map because this is the most consistent with the default base map in the EGIS web portal. Others can be found using the search bar. This WMS is time enabled and can produce animations, dates, and times can be input at the top under the clock menu. Today I'll be using the dates 824 to 828. 17, um, and I will also select a daily time interval. This will show the evolution of Hurricane Harvey over Texas. We can watch the animation. Through this animation, you can see the spiral of the hurricane approaching Texas from the Gulf of Mexico and then expanding over Louisiana over the course of four days. This animation can also be saved using the save icon in the time settings menu. That was a brief walkthrough of using QGIS to view an OGC WMS. And now we will pass to Patrick who will demonstrate the use of Python with GIS. 